Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called Dynamic Login from Data Springs. Now, what is the objective of this module? This module will replace the standard .NET Nook login. So, for instance, I do have a, a test site here. It's a DNN560, very, very brand new. And if I click in the login option, the login link, it will give me this standard login uh, form, login screen. And I don't have too much control over how those elements are presented. Yes, we can make some changes from a CSS point of view to change the color of the, those links. You can do some stuff with uh, by using CSS here. But if you really, really want to make this very flexible and rearrange the elements the way you want, you may want to consider buying, acquiring a module like Dynamic Login, which will allow you to play around, to, to place tokens uh, within, within the, the module, and you can rearrange all those login elements. So let's give it a shot on, on, on this module. Let's, let's give it a try. What we have to do first thing, I have to log into the back end so I can I can install this module. I have to log in as super user as I did, and I can go to host, module definitions, and action menu, install module. I can click on browse, select the module that I want to install, which is the dynamic login. I have downloaded this module previously, of course, and I can click open click next then next again installation as a, just a regular module nothing special here next again accept the license click next then from here i just click return let's have a look at if the module is installed correctly let's have a look here dynamic dynamic login so it's right here now, what do I have to do? How can I use this module? Well, first thing is that I have to create a login page so I can place this module inside. So let's hit new. And let's call this login. Let's call it user login. And it will be visible to all users, not included in the menu, of course. And let's click update. So from here, I can delete the standard, uh, the default DNN uh, HTML module that comes with new pages. And I will add that login module, dynamic login, to this page, to the content pane of this page. Now, as usual, uh, modules from Data Springs are, are really very flexible with many, many different options. The options that I'm going to be focused on this video is really about the layout, the look and feel of the login login uh, page. Okay, so let's focus on that part. So let's uh, add the module to the page. Let's click set up initial settings and see how it goes. This is the first time that I'm trying this module, by the way, just so you know that. I'll try to go straight to what I think is the place that I will be able to manage the the template, the, the layout of my login box. So if I, I, I'm assuming that if I click on manage template, yes, I'll be able to see a standard template, which comes already preloaded. And by the way, I would like to show the user guide. They have a quite extensive user guide that you can use as a, as a good reference. And the way the way the module works is that you have we have tokens that will be positioned inside the template, so they get replaced by the the username label, the text username, and then as you can see here, they are already placed. You see a DNN label username, and I'm gonna just open another browser with the login loaded. So we can correlate some elements. See, this is the user label. This is the text. This is the password label. This is the, 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 the text. And those are all the 
tokens that can be used. So they get automatically replaced by the labels and by the text box. And the other interesting thing is that you can do that in a language basis. Of course, the site right now is just a test site. I just have English installed on the site, but you could make this template look differently for different languages if your site is a multilingual website. Now, I'm not going to make any changes for now in those in this layout. I'm just going to use it out of the box like this. I know it may uh, look a little bit strange at first, but let's use it as is right now. So I'm just going to save this. Save template. And I'm going to try to see how it looks like. So let's just go to our user login page. There are a bunch of checkboxes here. Set up initial settings. Not sure if there is no text checkbox. Let me go back there. And yeah, I think I think it's okay. Let me save settings. I think after the first time it should be okay. If I go back to user login. Yes. So everything is there. It seems so. Of course, you cannot see the templates because we are already logged in. But let's have a look in another browser how this uh, page could look like. Could be looking like. So if I go to home, if I click login, now you realize that I'm still in the site, I'm clicking login, and the old template, the old, the standard DNN control is coming up. So why is that? It's because we have to replace, we have to tell DNN that there is now a new login page that needs to be, uh, that the system needs to point to. And where do you say that? That, that's actually not a feature of the module, but it's a feature in .NET Nook. If we go to Admin, Site Settings, then if we scroll down, we can go under Advanced Settings, and then we can say Login Page, not specified because it's coming as the default login. But now I can select User Login, which is our new login uh, page, and I have just selected it. And I will click update. And now if I go back not logged in, like I'm here in Internet Explorer, if I click login, oops, I think I know what might be going on here. DNN, uh, I think it's trying to be a bit smart here. And if we are redirecting to a page as the login page that does not have the account login in it, then it goes to the default again. So let's try to do a little bit, uh, let's try to trick DNN, I guess. Let's go back to our page. So we have dynamic login added to the page, but to work around this DNN kind of uh, rule that you need to have the account login in the page, we're gonna add the account login to the page that's fine. So we have the account login. And now let's give it a try. Let's go back to our site as not logged in, click login. Perfect. So now it's going to the right place. But of course, we don't want to be displaying two uh, sets of, uh, of login in the same page. So what we're going to do, we're going to hide this one here. How can we hide a module from, from one page? Very simple. We can go to the module settings. Let's uncheck the inherit view. And so with that, we're going to hide this module from the page, but DNN will still think that the module is there. So we're going to trick DNN. Click update. Now the module is there, but visible to admin only. If we go back there, let's go to the home page. Let's click login again. It's direct to, to the correct page, which has the dynamic login at the top. At the button that we used to have uh, the, the standard DNN login, it's gone because we have changed the permissions to see that. So we have done a little bit tricky thing with, with DNN, but that was the way that we were able to make DNN direct to our new user login page. So this is it for this first video. I'm going to do a second video so I can go more in depth. Uh, through the options uh, that, that the dynamic login module give us. Thanks and bye.